Conor McGregor's return is impossible in 2025. Once the king of the UFC, Conor McGregor's return seems more like a dream fading into the past. The man who reigns supreme in two divisions may never step back into the octagon. But why? Is it injury? Distractions? Or something more? Fans across the globe have long waited for Notorious to step back into the octagon and reclaim his throne. Yet, as 2025 approaches, the odds of his return seem slimmer than ever. In this video, we'll break down the undeniable reasons why McGregor's highly anticipated comeback might never happen. Let's begin with the elephant in the room, Conor McGregor's physical health. In July 2021, McGregor suffered a severe leg injury during his trilogy fight with Dustin Poirier. A broken tibia and fibula, one of the worst injuries in the sport, set McGregor on a long, grueling recovery journey. Many top fighters like Anderson Silva and Chris Weidman who faced similar injuries took years to recover, with some never returning to their prime. Even UFC President Dana White expressed doubt about McGregor's ability to return, citing the challenges of recovering from such a debilitating injury. McGregor has been working hard to rehabilitate, but a comeback after such a catastrophic injury may be too much to ask, especially at the level expected of him. If history is any guide, the odds are unlikely that McGregor will ever return to his former glory. Experts believe it's not just about getting fit again, it's about whether his body can withstand the brutal demands of professional MMA at 36 years old. I'll be 100% ready, McGregor told Ariel Helwani in an interview, but actions speak louder than words. McGregor has postponed fights before due to what many believe are minor injuries, like a stubbed toe. If McGregor can't recover from such setbacks now, it's unlikely he'll be ready for the wars ahead in 2025. But it's not just about physical recovery. McGregor's world extends far beyond the octagon. His rapid rise has led to a lavish lifestyle, partying, business ventures, and even appearances in Hollywood films. Since selling a majority stake in his whiskey brand, McGregor's net worth has soared, raising the question, why risk everything to fight when his empire is thriving outside the cage? But it's not just about physical recovery. His rapid rise has led to a lavish lifestyle. Many believe McGregor's financial success and growing media presence are part of what's holding him back. Why battle it out with hungry young fighters when you're already a multimillionaire? His focus has clearly shifted away from MMA. The night he went down broken by Poirier, it was unlikely he was going to return. Unfinished business. The Chandler fight that never happened. Perhaps the most telling sign of McGregor's decline is the collapse of his much-hyped matchup with Michael Chandler. Scheduled for UFC 303, the fight never materialized due to a supposed injury. Now, Chandler has moved on and booked a fight with Charles Oliveira in November 2024. For McGregor, this marks yet another missed opportunity to reignite his career. Can we really expect McGregor to return in 2025 after such a series of setbacks? Hollywood Aspirations McGregor's involvement in Hollywood is another factor. He's been cast in films like Roadhouse alongside Jake Gyllenhaal, further pulling him away from the octagon. With the demands of movie production schedules, it's clear that McGregor's priorities have shifted away from the intense training camps and fight preparation that once defined his career. His interest in pursuing an acting career signals that the octagon may no longer be his primary focus. This new career path provides yet another reason to question whether McGregor has the time, energy, or desire to return to UFC. The commitment required to be both a professional fighter and an actor is immense, and balancing both seems almost impossible. Age and time, wait for no one. At 36, time is not on McGregor's side. The McGregor of 2015, sharp, fast, and ruthless, is far different from today. Three out of his last four fights ended in defeat. The younger generation, names like Islam Makachev, Ilya Tapuria, Bilal Muhammad, Drikas Duplessis, and Alex Pereira have taken the spotlight. They are the new faces of the UFC. Can McGregor truly compete with them, or has the sport simply moved on? McGregor himself seems unsure of what's next. In a recent interview, he admitted, I've got two fights left on my UFC contract, but what happens after that, no one knows. This statement alone shows uncertainty, raising doubts about his motivation to even finish the remaining fights on his contract. Mental state. Does McGregor still have the fire? Beyond the physical and financial hurdles, there's one remaining question. Does McGregor still have the mental edge? The intensity that once defined him seems to have diminished. Once notorious for his trash talk and mental warfare, 
McGregor now seems more focused on being a celebrity than a fighter. McGregor's passion for fighting might have fizzled out and it's a clear sight. We can see his seemingly waning desire for UFC glory. Without that fire, it's hard to see how McGregor can return to the octagon and be the same unstoppable force we once knew. Conor McGregor's story might not have the fairy tale ending fans hoped for. From injuries and distractions to age and uncertainty, the reasons for his delayed return keep stacking up. While we may never say never in the world of MMA, it's becoming increasingly clear that McGregor's return in 2025 is looking less and less likely. What do you think? Is McGregor done? Or can he shock the world one more time? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all things UFC. Join the conversation. Because when it comes to McGregor, the debate is far from over.